Hello Beach Pumps and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Matthew Isbell. I post a lot of surf fishing videos. Consider subscribing, but today we are at Okaloosa Island Pier here in Port Walton Beach, Florida. And it's pretty windy today. We do have some storm systems that are north of us. Conditions are conducive, possibly, for some king mackerel. So we're gonna see if we can hook up on one of those early this morning. We're looking for those big fish today. Hopefully, can hook into a king mackerel maybe see some jacks i've got a few different things rigged up i'll go over it with you throughout the day as i use what i've got ready but i'm excited water conditions look pretty good hopefully the south wind has got some kings chewing let's get to fishing uh there's something right here big dark spot i don't know if it's bait or uh fish i don't know might be some jacks let's see Oh, it's Jax. Jax. They are not interested in the Cobia jig. You got some Jax, huh? Oh, they're everywhere. I see them. Giant pot of Jax. That's the biggest school of Jax I think I've ever seen. Come on. Not eating the cobia jig. Come on. Come on. See if we can get them on the X wrap. That's a huge school of jacks. I lost them. I don't know. I don't know if this is them or not out there. Well, that was uh, crazy. Start of the morning. Uh, as soon as I walked on, big giant school of jacks there were a ton of them uh, as you can see i was throwing the cobia jig jigging it and they were not the least bit interested Yeah, popped off. I get my first hookup of the day. Oh my goodness, what an eat. Unfortunately, I don't have any audio because for whatever reason, my GoPro decided not to record the audio from this one clip. So I am going to take this opportunity to talk about this catch. Um, while I'm catching fish, I'm always so amped up and fired up, I, I really forget to kind of talk through some of the technicalities of it. So I wanted to use that opportunity here. Didn't take much of a run. I did have my, my drag down pretty tight. I wanted to make sure I was going to not uh, let this fish just run around. I wanted to get him to the pier as quickly as possible. Not always the best practice, but you know I don't like uh, I don't like taking too long. It just gives you a better chance to lose that fish. But as you can see, I just moved past some people, and this is an important point. You do want to follow your fish. If you're new to pier fishing, don't have a ton of experience. If you're fighting a big fish. You want to make sure you're staying with your fish as i'm doing here going down the rail for a couple of reasons number one if that fish gets sideways you're going to probably tangle up some other lines if people are fishing around you uh, they're not going to like that also you're taking up less space on the rail if you do stay with that fish like i'm only taking up the space that i'm at right now whereas if it were sideways if i was letting that fish run around and not staying in front of it i'm taking up more space on the rail not allowing other people to fish Plus, if that fish gets sideways and I don't follow it, it does give it an opportunity to easily get around a piling, shoot the pier. You just wanna make sure you can control that fish so you have a better shot of landing it. So being in front of it, not giving it that angle, definitely gives you that chance. But I quickly got this fish to the pier and we did get the gaff down to it and uh, fortunately had some help. And we got this fish gaffed and we do get it over the rail and I'm pretty stoked about it. Probably somewhere in the ballpark 10 to 15 pound king. Nothing gigantic, but I was pretty stoked about it. But I do have audio for the rest of the video coming at you now. Got the king this morning. That's what I was hoping for. Target species, pretty sweet. Incredible fighters are so fast. Hit the X-Rap, still got it in the spout. But uh, we'll get back to fishing, see if we can pick up on anything else. Got another one on right here. We've had a few hits this morning. 
think three or four have been caught. Oh, nice. That was sick. Oh, golly, did you see that? Holy smokes. Oh, golly. Oh, my goodness. That dude freaking scout on it. Oh, my gosh, that was insane. That was a crazy eat. I don't know if you saw that on the GoPro, but this dude freaking jumped out of the water for it. Good gracious. Kings are going nuts today. Oh. King. Yeah, King. All right. Appreciate you. You know somebody that wants this one? If you want it, I'll take it. You want them? Yeah. It's all you, man. You sure? Yeah. I already took half of that other one. That's all I needed. I to you. Thank you. Woo! Did you see that one eat? Yeah, no, <laughs> no, came no. out of the water. Skied up. Skied up. Pretty sick, man. Thank yeah. you for your help. Really no appreciate problem, it. Man. Second king of the morning. Pretty sick on the X-Wrap. This one jumped completely out of the water. To get it, he's still, uh, still got some life in him, but we're gonna give this one away. Already got plenty of meat, but what an awesome morning. These fish are going nuts. Today I've been using the Ninja Dagger 8 foot 6 rod with the 4500 pin slammer 4. I've got 20 pound braid and I just had wire leader down to my X wrap. I've caught two, kept two, that's the limit. So we're gonna stop king fishing and uh, start looking to see if we can see anything else going on while we're here. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, Spanish on the uh, fluorocarbon leader on the pump jig. Here we go. There we go. Nice. I honestly was not expecting that. I was just really screwing around. I threw my lure out and uh, I got this new setup that I wanted to try out. Oh, careful, dude. And I made a cast that was kind of weird, so I was trying to fix it and just working the lure back. Hook this guy. 17 pound leader, that's always uh, nerve wracking, but nice little Spanish <laughs> to go with the king here. I just moved down to this end of the pier, uh, kind of seeing if there might be any pompano around, but I was just testing out this new setup. I've got a Shimano Terramore XX, and this is a 13 fishing reel that I'm trying out. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a 3.0 uh, 3 size, 3,000 size reel. Um, don't really know much about it, Axum, but we're thinking about maybe carrying it in the shop, so we're just trying it out today. I've got 10 pound braid, 17 pound leader, just down to a pompano jig, which I do have tied on. Doubt you can see it in the GoPro, but it is a loop knot. I've got a teaser and the pompano jig, and really was just screwing around, trying to get my bearing straight and caught that Spanish. But this uh, setup casts amazing. This rod is pretty sweet. This one's kind of expensive. Um, I just wanted to try it out, but they do have different like levels of it, basically different models that are less expensive. But these uh, Shimano Terramars are pretty sweet rods. Heading off the pier, I had a great morning, hanging out with a couple of beach bumps here. I saw you caught a Spanish. You caught anything else? 
Just the Spanish? Well, maybe I'll get some more, but I got some cool cats here. They're going to catch some more fish. Don't catch them all now. Save some for everybody else, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. And I've got a hunk of king mackerel here. I gave most of it away, and I used my bait knife that I had on the pier to get to this point. So I did the best that I could with what I had and uh, gave away most of the meat just because I did not need a lot of it. But we are going to cook some of it up tonight. I'm excited about it. I'm going to try something a little unique and different. But this is a big hunk of one of those two king mackerel that we caught. And I'm just removing the bloodline there. And I'm going to cube this up basically. I'm going to try to get these pieces to be similar in size. This is a lot of meat. These little steaks. Might get some thinner ones. These first few pieces were kind of thick. This is going to be more than enough for what I'm trying to do today. And this is definitely not even the, the best fillet job just because I was kind of making do with what I got. This is like less than half of a fish and there's like plenty of meat here. And then I've got my little Spanish mackerel that I feel like I caught by accident. And one way you can tell that this is a Spanish, it does have the black fin at the top. These yellow spots can be on King's as well. And King's lateral line drops down way more drastically Whereas this lateral line does drop down, but it's not that much. The king kind of drops way down, very drastic. And they have a gray top fin up here, this, this front fin. Anyway, Spanish mackerel, not a baby king. But we're going to do something with you too, buddy. I was excited to catch it because I know you're going to be delicious. For what we've got coming up. Just bring that right off the side of the fish i did bleed it still a little bit of blood in here but i just popped the gills right after i caught it pull that rib cage out they have very soft skin so i'm trying to work real smooth and slow I'm trying to leave a little bit of that meat on the skin just like that nice little spanish fillet will set him to the side Got a plan for you, you're gonna be delicious. We're in the kitchen and I'm going to be doing two different types of sushi. Courtney has already prepared the Spanish mackerel sushi, <laughs> sushi, which is in the refrigerator. It's ready to go. I'll go over what the ingredients are, but I'm not gonna show you us making that. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. What are you doing? Playing. Playing. Oh, I'm drinking some coffee. It's been a long day. I, I got up at four o'clock this morning. I've been going and uh, what time is that? six so i've been going going hard trying to get this meal prepared but we're using the king mackerel to make king mackerel balls and it's kind of like bacon sushi or we can call it like pure sushi comment below let us know and check it out we do have our merch if you haven't picked any up make sure you go check it out beachfoamoutdoors.com get jalapenos cr uh, cream cheese the bacon and then the fish we're gonna wrap it up and cook it on the skillet i've done this before on the grill we're gonna see how it goes. I'm cooking the bacon a little bit before I wrap it up in the fish because the bacon is gonna take a little bit longer than the fish to cook once it is wrapped up. So that's kind of the plan. One of you guys actually suggested that the last time we did this on the grill. I've been marinating the king in Italian dressing. I'm gonna also put some zatarans on it before we wrap it up. We're wrapping them up, got our fish, bacon, I overcooked some of it, so it's kind of giving me a hard time wrapping it. But we're just taking a piece of fish. Kind of messy. Jalapeno. Cream cheese. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wrapping it up in the bacon. Oh no. Oh no. I think we got it. Right in there. I'm sticking a toothpick in it. go we'll cook it up i'm no chef and my bacon's falling apart a little bit it, it's looking pretty good i did some without the jalapeno and cream cheese i think it's going to taste pretty good so we've got our regular sushi which very nice job on the sushi rolling courtney <laughs> you're like a pro now and what are the ingredients what all do we have there? um cream cheese 
orange and yellow bell peppers and cucumbers. Looks delicious. We normally put avocado, but the avocados were not they were a little hard. at the right stage. And then we've got our redneck sushi or pier sushi, bum sushi, bacon sushi, however you want to call it. It's just kind of thrown together. Jalapeno, <laughs> cream cheese, fish, bacon. This one just has bacon and then a little piece of fish cooked in bacon fat. You want to dive in? Yes. Hi. Memory. I'm going to eat this. You want to try the fish first? Yeah. I don't, I have never cooked fish in bacon fat. So, might be weird. It's good. Pretty good? Yeah, it doesn't taste weird. Does it taste like bacon? <laughs> no. No? Okay. Is it good? You like it? A little king mackerel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you may not want to go all in on the jalapeno there just yet. <laughs> Not very ladylike. <laughs> All ingredients going down. Is it spicy? Well, it's got the jalapeno. Not too bad. It's good. Yeah. Doing the video. I'll it's do really it. good together. Pretty like, solid. Yeah. All the ingredients. <clears throat> oh yeah, jalapeno. No, no, coming. no, no. Just the bacon. <clears throat> Went down the road. It's really good. You gotta have it all together. I think. All right, I'm gonna try. All right, here's a really messy bite of fish, cream cheese, jalapeno, bacon. Mm. That's really good. It's definitely the way to go. Is that a good chicken nugget? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.